This is extremely dangerous to have these things coming down while you're flying down the road. We decided to uh, do something we probably never thought we would have done before. And that is scrap all our plans, our route, and head directly into Tornado Alley to show up at Vanley's factory completely unannounced in the hopes that they would help us. Destructive 80 mile an hour winds take shelter in sturdy buildings away from windows. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Hi, I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who when faced with mounting health challenges decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV and along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. Good day. We are in Corinth, Mississippi. 10 miles from Van Lee's factory. It was Sunday, of course, so we couldn't get a hold of anyone, but we used the time to stay up late composing an email recounting all of our problems, our new problems, our worries, etc., etc. You guys know if you've been watching our videos. All of these videos, we are here. We emailed, they called, and said, Come on over. So we're headed to Van Lee in 10 minutes to meet with the supervisor at their factory. Tag along to his birthplace and we're gonna go through these hydraulics and make sure it's a-okay. Just make sure we're leaving feeling safe and confident in Banley. But this is a good start. We emailed, we called, they said come on in. We're at their factory. So we're feeling a little more hopeful again. She put in a new manifold. Lippert showed up to put their two cents in. So we've got everyone here trying to help. They replaced the manifold, got a brand new manifold. She thought that might be what's going on. We tested it out, the back jack's still dropping. They're gonna go ahead and swap out all the rest of the jacks. So we'll have all new jacks, all new manifold, and hope that resolves the problem. So Van Lee's being great, but yeah, these are all Lippert components, so it's good that they did show up. We changed out the manifold, uh, put a brand new manifold on, and we also replaced three of the jacks. And uh, we think for sure that's gonna take care of the problems that you've been having with your jacks. This is Brett, Director of Service and Warranty here at Van Lee. And, uh, and these guys got us in on an emergency basis. And we're feeling pretty confident that we're gonna get back on the road and these things are not gonna be dropping again because these guys know that if they do, it's gonna end up on YouTube. <laughs> they don't want that. <laughs> no, we don't want that. I hope y'all have safe travels and uh, look yeah. forward to seeing y'all again. Appreciate it. Really nice people. This is exactly why we went with Van Lee, because despite all the problems, you can call them up, they'll take care of you. We like literally showed up unannounced and said help and they said, come over. Every time we have a part we need, they say, where do we send it? No questions asked. So I know all of you out there watching our videos saying you don't want a Van Lee, but you gotta also think about the benefits you get with a Van Lee and that's the customer service. Now I know they're gonna take care of us no matter what. Well, we're under tornado watch, second time in a week. We are in Corinth, Mississippi, and I think we're going to have a crazy night. Check it out. So this is a multi-state system we've got that's in yellow is tornado warning. You slide over here to what's to the west of us, that much of the country is under red flag warning. Well, you're just the bearer of bright news today, aren't you? So we're going to 
try to get through another rough night. Boy, Gracie's been having a rough time and we haven't been getting much sleep because she doesn't do thunder. Are you over the storms? Jasper doesn't care. Do you, bud? And then tomorrow we're gonna pack up and keep heading west toward Colorado, toward our family. They just mentioned Cora and they said around 10 o'clock we could have some real strong stuff. Anyway, she's back there editing till the last minute and we're discussing how we might be able to um, we've got to get all the electronics unplugged, we've got to have everything charged up, and we need to be ready to kind of jump into the truck and go if we have to. But again, we're in a bad situation where we don't have a tornado shelter. Dinner's ready, and it's time to turn off the computer equipment. I'm almost done. Do you see how important you guys are to me? Like, we're under tornado watch, the wind's whipping out. I need to be unplugging stuff and preparing, but I'm focused on creating content for you. Okay, I'll wrap it up. She has no idea what we got coming at us. She hasn't even lifted her head, she has no idea. Okay, I'm thinking about you guys. We'll be fine. We've already survived one tornado alarm warning. Scott says, get in the truck and we'll go somewhere. I'm not sure where that somewhere will be. I mean, the only place we don't have windows is in our bathroom and I don't think we can all fit in there. My take on it is the vehicle is the safest place to be in comparison to your RV because the vehicle is made for collisions. You know, they design it to collide. So I think we'd be better off in the truck than we will be in the rig. And you may be right because I'm looking outside at power lines about six feet from the top of our RV and we have trees on both sides of us with branches overhanging so probably not the safest place to be probably the truck and away from all of these deadly objects would be best. I'm gonna put your thunder shirt on okay so you may be Oh, I know. We actually got this for her because she's a rescue um, dog and she's got a lot of trauma stuff. And when we first got her, we'd have her wear this thunder shirt because it tightens around them and helps them feel secure. But it's obviously for thunder and noises, fireworks, stuff like that. So. And it's like a hug. Do they make them for humans? Hey babe. Yeah. Okay, so 61 minutes from right now, we need to be ready with everything ready to jump into the truck if we need to. Okay. I'm just finishing up a couple of emails to our followers. <laughs> I will sign off and devote all my energy to the storm, I promise. We brought all the slides in in the RV and um, now they're saying we're like right in the bad spot of the storm and here comes the winds. Holy cow! Here they come. That's not the... Holy jeez, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. Warning? The tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time for Northeastern Mississippi. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Okay, in the building? I don't like the building. The campground is already covered in water, and it just started. This is a destructive storm for extreme northeast Mississippi. Good morning. I survived. A lot of other people had a lot of damage, not in our RV park, but in town, the town we're in. There was just a long wall of wind that came in 80 miles an hour. The town had pretty extensive damage, um, huge trees on top of homes, trees down all over the roads, powers out, power lines down, gas leaks, flood, really bad flooding. So I don't know how, but someone was looking out for us because we're right by town. And we're just in this little campground area and nothing came down, nothing happened. So we're going to thank our lucky stars and we're going to hit the road and 
Head on out of here. Thumbs up or thumbs down on the Bucky Nuggets? Beaver Nuggets. Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. I need more Beaver Nuggets! <laughs> the good news is we scored a free full hookup site at a casino next to some very other lovely people traveling up from Baja for their, where they were for the winter. The bad news is, the guy to the right of us just accidentally dumped his sewage all over the ground right outside our RV.